Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to Friendship Shaving. I've messed it up again. So hopefully we're recording now. I'm just into face lathering with my AP Shape Co brush handle with a high lofted cashmere knot. And I'm using a shaving cream today from Belgium. It is balm.be. When I first smelled the soap, I picked up just a fresh, clean, soapy smell. Now that I'm coming to use it, I'm trying to decide whether it smells or whether the scent notes are as described. It's described as having top notes that are fresh, citrusy and spicy, with middle notes that are floral and woody, and base notes of musk, amber and oak moss. I think maybe there is some spiciness there. I'm not getting any citrus. To me, it just smells clean and soapy. So this is a jar. It comes in. It comes in a glass jar. Um, it's got a purple tinge to it, so I think it protects the soap from UV light. And I'll put the links to that in the video's description today so you can have a look. But there's not a lot of information about this shaving cream really. Now the razor I'm going to be using today is the Marvel razor from Fine Accoutrements. I have all my razor blow blades in my coconut shaving bowl now. I picked one at random and I've ended up with a Sputnik blade and this would be its first use. It's been a very long time since I've used a Sputnik Teflon coated razor blade. And actually it's been a very long time since I've used a fine marble razor. I like this razor very much. I find it to be a very gentle, effective shave. You can see the head cap is flattened on the top and that leads to a very nice angle just placing the diagonal of the head cap on the cheek there and that is a great angle to shave with. It has a really large blade gap of 0.95 but don't find it to be an aggressive razor at all because the blade exposure is minimal. Um, I actually think it's neutral but I've been unable to find any information about the blade exposure. Now I find with that large blade gap, you have to be a little bit careful around these sort of areas and up around your nose and anywhere where you might inadvertently turn the razor. But um, so long as you're careful, I think this is just a great razor to shave with.
for me it's just a very nice razor to take it easy take your time it has an oversized guard bar and that works very nicely to stretch the skin before it meets the blade and to ensure I suppose that there's not a fold of skin goes into that large blade gap but I like this riser So I'll tell you a little bit more about it and then we'll go on with the shaving. See it's quite a short razor. It is 87 millimeters in height. It is 93 grams which is 3.3 ounces and it is made of a zinc alloy with chromium plating. I think it looks really nice. Now there are markings on the handle but it's not a deep knurling. Um, I've never had any problems with it. I thought I might today. With maybe having slippy hands from that uh, shaving cream. But no, we're alright. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. Just give me a moment, I've just tweaked what this reminds me of. I was reading last night and it is described as a fougere. I was reading about it quite late on and it actually reminds me a little bit of Barbus. And I think the Velobra Fougere. Yeah, I think so. I have to say, it's not my, um, it's not the most favourite scent that I've got for a shaving soap. It certainly doesn't match up to the scent of a fougere like Martin de Candre's. The best scented fougere on the planet that is. But it's a very nice soap and as I said earlier I just think it smells clean and fresh. Now second pass. Now, I don't know if you can hear it cutting, but it is. What I'm noticing is that there's hardly any blade feel. If there is, it's certainly minimal. Um, Yeah, and really down there, until it meets some sort of longer hair, I suppose, it just feels like you're running a razor over your skin with no blade in it, for me. As I said, it's a long time since I've used this. It is reasonably intuitive to shave with, but just getting the flat of the razor right on your skin takes a little bit of getting used to if you are not used to that. You know, if you're more used to a curved blade or riding the cap or however it is you normally shave.
this just has that very flat angled edge like that to put on your skin. It retails at about $40. I think it's a nice razor for that price. Certainly very chunky. I love the way it looks. I must admit, I do love the way it looks. I'm just going to stand that on the wood rather than the leather. Um, seems a bit, a bit more safe on the wood. Now slickness in the soap, it's not bad. First attempt, yeah, it's pretty good, not bad. But there are better. Now, gents, I've got to tell you that I have got on the channel a fantastic giveaway coming up. Now, you know I don't announce my giveaways in the title to the videos. I like to keep them for the people that come and watch my channel. But the giveaway will take place on a Gifts of Friendship video. Um, so just watch out for that one. Or rather, the giveaway will be announced then. I'm saying no more about it for now. But it's a fantastic giveaway. Right, third pass. See, it's gone a bit thin on the uh, soap there. There's probably a bit in my brush still. Went a bit quiet there, boys, eh? Concentrating, that's what it was. There we are, on that last pass with the thinner, thinner leather. Uh, could feel the blade a bit more, especially around this area. It's a very nice razor. Um, it would suit it would suit anyone to shave with that, I think. But it is one to be careful with because of that large blade gap. 
but I tell you what, that is an excellent shave, really is. Very nice razor. Now, I was going to use um, I was going to use some cool water, but I don't think it'll go with that soap scent at all. So I'm going to keep with the fresh theme, and I'm just going to use some Parasso Green. Um, you know, lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. There's a good slug of that. And I tell you what, that, that I really have had a great shave with that razor. I don't know why I've left that one so long. It works really, really well for me. Three very easy passes, as you saw. No nicks. No blood. Just a fantastic shave. So, thanks for joining me and being part of my shave today. Keep yourselves well and I'll see you very shortly. Take care now. Bye bye.